YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. We got a sad one down here in LA. PB and Rock was gunned down at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. The wrong Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle to go to. Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for being here. Yes, PB and Rock is a rapper who had visited LA multiple times, but sadly this time will be his last. This is Los Angeles, California. This is Jody's Corner. We're gonna go ahead and give our our discussion based on I could give my discussion based on just the culture of LA and my opinion on how this complete this could have been completely avoided, as well as advice to rappers, producers moguls anybody that got a lot of clout money and fame on when coming to la specifically because i could give my opinion on it or going anywhere it's a sad day that this man lost his life in front of his loved ones and uh the gist of the story is simple this man came to la went to roscoe's chicken and waffle and his girlfriend at the time who has a social media account posted a picture of a plate that she was served at the Roscoe's chicken and waffle and had the location on it. And sure enough, as you know, it, the ops are always watching. They saw where he was at in the moment came rolled up on him. There was a, a altercation. Uh, there's a lot of rumors about what happened, what didn't happen, but he was pressed inside of the Roscoe's chicken and waffle. Maybe he wanted to not want to give up his chain and his money or maybe he wasn't trying to have it. Words were exchanged and he ended up getting shot multiple times in the Roscoe's Chicken Waffle. And there is graphic video that I... Mm -mm. I don't know if we should show it. Mm -mm. I don't think we should show it. Because mm -mm. mm -mm. the sad news is that he did pass away. And because he passed away is, is the number one reason why I don't think it's appropriate to show it. But there is... Are we 100% sure the chat confirmed that he passed away? I'm going to go ahead and... A mod. We need a mod. A mod, dip off, do a fact check, and circle back. Somebody with a wrench, please, so we can confirm. So let me... Search. let me. <laughs> his girlfriend is so dumb for this. It, it, she, and I said, when I heard this information, I'm like, the girl is dumb. Why would you post where you're at in the moment when you do it? Why you... I understand you go to Roscoe's, but after hours afterwards, then you want to post that. Yeah. You don't post where you're at in the moment if you're famous and especially knowing this right here. Would you know that this this same thing happened in Los Angeles not too long ago? A couple of weeks ago, he was in L.A. and got pressed. Here's his story. Be like, every oh, they time, try to take your jewelry or some shit? I don't know, but they'd be like, I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky. It's like <laughs> in L.A. it's like they bold. It's like they want you to know they want you to they want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them, some of them might just go crazy. The majority of the times I got into some shit, it was like they just gave a drop up too fast. You feel me? So the second time I got into some shit, it was like just talking loud as shit, wanting me to hear their conversation. And it's like I'm with my peoples, like I'm with my, my, my daughter and my girl. Like, why are you talking about this? Shout out to shit? them chairs, Jody. Like, this mm -hmm. one, like, we outside, we on Fairfax. Before. I'm like, man, you know, I already peed the blitz. We out. I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we gone. My girl, like, no, we ain't. I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm not sure you peeping. Point. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was thinking I'm tripping. about women sometimes. She be thinking man. I'm tripping. So, in a mix of all this, I'm like, no, we out. So, she peeped it. I'm serious. She's like, no, we out. We drive probably like two blocks down the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pulled over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to this door right here. And then, in a mix of me, like telling her like where to park at, it's like somebody just came fast as shit and took the parking spot, like the same spot that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, they must have been following me or something, bro. How the fuck this car get behind me this <laughs> yeah. fast? Like I ain't even look. I look back and that shit was there quick as shit. And then when I walk past, like the car, I'm out. Like this shit tended to the max. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm getting all this heat coming from the car though. Like I'm feeling the energy coming from the car. I'm like, damn, what the fuck is that car? Like they on some other. Shit. I ain't going to the store for two seconds. The same people coming from out the car, hopping the store, hyping shit. See some banging shit, like some set of my, I don't know what they said. They said some shit out loud. Set trip in the But it was like, son, that I'm not that I recognize the energy. You feel me? I'm like, what? You feel me? Like, he like started talking to me with some gays and shit. Like, I'm like, bro, do you know me? Like, you know me from somewhere? He like, yeah, I know who you is. Trying to get me to 
like get into some shit. So I'm like, man, I flagged him off and I just walked out the store because I already know like where this shit about to go. You feel me? You don't that make you nervous if like you with like your, your girl. Your no, boy. that's why I be trying to be cool because you don't want to be nervous and make it seem like something about that. You want to you, you want them to be as calm too, as possible. You feel me? So there you have it. You know, his girlfriend was talking about. I want to go here. I want to go there. La, la. His the whole time he's pressed and stressed because people are looking at him, people are following him in L. A. Yeah. And his girlfriend is oblivious. Yeah. To what is going on. Yeah. So she's done this before and now set him up with the whole with the Roscoe's chicken and waffle plate. Now I'm not saying set him up as far as you intended to get him killed. You set him up with that dumb picture. And you didn't going. listen and you didn't learn. That's what I'm talking about when a lot of time a lot of men lose their lives because of the women they got. Mm -hmm. And that woman brought death to her man, right? Yep. Now I don't know about his lyrics. I don't know if he's a gangster rapper. I don't know what he has said, but I do know this city as well as a lot of other cities in this country, people will try to get you for your shit. And you got to. You, when people come at you and, and they come at you a certain way, you know they got the strap. You got to give it up. Don't talk back. Don't just, you can replace it, man. Give up the chain. Give up the phone. Give up the car keys. Give it up. As long as you got your life and your safety and your family is good. Now, I'm not saying that he didn't give it up. But based off this story that I'm hearing, Muffrigas was trying to press him, and he was like, man, get up out of here with that. He could have got shot in the back Facts. for doing that. Facts. So all I'm saying is, man, it's a sad thing that even after just a couple, a week or so ago, he was in L.A. and almost got pressed, and his girl almost got impressed then, got impressed again. This time he's gone. Yeah, because she had dance. I don't condone the violence. It's trash. It's messed up. This world we live in is all effed up. But you got to like, there's rules to this. You just can't walk around thinking you're untouchable. You can't walk around with that chip on your shoulder, especially if you're in a different city. When you're in your own hood, you feel protected because it's your hood. You grew up there. Everybody knows you. When you travel into any other foreign city, you really got to be on your P's and Q's, especially if you're in a rap game. Facts. Especially if you already almost got got the, a week or two before and you back in L.A. Rest in peace to this young brother, man. I want to know what's your take on this shit, E. Um, I feel like this really messed up. It's, it's, it's crazy. I feel like when you when you become famous, you know, people feel like, you know, they try to live that Pac life. And when you become famous, you feel like you go where you want to go, whatever like that. When you got money now, and now money is like not a huge thing for you like that anymore, you can't go certain places. You shouldn't be certain places. You should either A, have an assistant getting it for you, B, go somewhere in, 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 in like Beverly Hills or far or, you know, somewhere that you know that you're going to be in a good area. You're going to be safe in a good area. What are we looking at, ladies and gentlemen? That is the picture taken by his girlfriend in real time at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle with the mother freaking GPS banner on it. This post right here is why he is dead right now. Besides, you know, those killers who killed him, which is terrible. This right here. Is what, what what was his end? They they followed his girlfriends. I it's crazy out here. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, when you when you when you got that type of lifestyle, or you try to you know you had that type of lifestyle, as you are in another state or country, whatever. You can't do. You gotta you gotta literally just because you from like you from a hood. Every hood is different. Even your own homies in your hood will get you. You can't be the same as you was when you was like. Say so you used to sell dope, you you know you did drugs, you did whatever, whatever. You can't do that same shit anymore. Now you now you are upscale, you higher now. You gotta push yourself like, all right, look, man, I can't do this no more. I gotta number one, now I gotta get some bodyguards. I can't be out here walking in these streets. Number two, I can't or I can't be in this neighborhood because it becomes a totally different story. That's why people have you should have at least an assistant. You got money now, an assistant. Uh, you know, people you, you use your Uber Eats, whatever, or, you know, Postmates, whatever. You can't go into these areas and it's messed up that this man, you know, if, if, if so we found out that it's true, is that he did lose his life? Uh, it seems that way. Uh, I could pull up an officer's <laughs> statement. I believe an officer gave an update as to what exactly happened. pronounced deceased at dead, 13, yeah. 159 hours. It's messed up. Uh, one, one at 2 o'clock, he's been pronounced dead. Sorry to say that the victim has been pronounced deceased at 13, 159 hours today. Um, South Bureau Homicide is working this case as are many other detectives. What can you tell us about the victim? There it is. It's messed up that this man lost his life, man, on some crazy shit. Uh, hey, yo, E-Man, 
E-Man, right? Yep. Bro, the Roscoe's chick. We got we got three Roscoe's. Four Roscoe's chicken and waffles out here, yo. Yeah, yeah. We got Pico and La Brea. We got Washington and La Brea. That's the newest location. We have probably the safest location, which will be uh, Manchester and La Siena right off the 405 freeway by LAX. The most gutter location, the hoodest location, the, ori- the one of the original, Manchester and Maine is where he was at. Yeah, that, that's, that's the spot. He was on Manchester and Maine, yeah, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to go over that's there, That's the hood, bro. That's that's deep in there, too. That's that's two different hoods over here, too. My, that's wild. Yeah. My neighbor works yeah, at one nah, of them, man. but I don't uh, know which one she works at. Nah, that's um, crazy. Jody was like, "Is it?" I was like, that's a nice neighborhood. Jody was like, which one? Then Jody said, I, he, I said, this one. Jody was like, nah, bro, that's not, that's not, nah. Nah. I knew. I said, which one? The one by my... Not the one by your house, my nigga. Getting sh- shot like that? Like, Maine, nobody... What you, what you hear, dumped Maine, out? What you hear, Maine, period. It's like, Facts. fuck that. Manchester and Maine. Found out? Show enough. It was Maine, Manchester and Maine. Period. That's one drop. That's one spot you don't want to go over. Period. Now, since I don't gangbang, I go in any hood I want. Where you from, homie? Nowhere? Stay black, my brother. Yeah. All right then. But when, but, when, <laughs> but, when, but when, but when, your, but when people see your face and your name is getting processed, processed like how like YouTube and they nah, see this that, is not, that's nah. a different album. That becomes nah, a, you know what? Nah, what you gonna rob me for? I ain't got shit. I'm talking about these rappers out here that got hundred thousand dollar chains on their neck. What you gonna get from me? You gonna get a Z Fold four, a Z Fold three? That's what you got from me. Hey, you gonna get a Z Fold? Here you hey, go, play. Hey, go for it. It's so many, I got insurance money. So many thirsty people out here when they see <laughs> internet, they see online they see this people you get people or whatever looking at how many subscribe how many views how many subscribers you got so they obviously looking like oh he got money they got bread even with these celebrities they see it oh sure you enough. got this or whatever so sure enough there there's a faction of people that will rob you because they know you're rich and they'll get paid yeah. because people are starving and, and the, the economy it's bad they I, look at, they look, I told you how bad look, la was y'all don't every, come here it's not good everybody most people majority people looking for that lick they looking for that number one lick so they don't have to they could be straight for for a while. They looking for that lick, and with celebrities when they come out here, they the number one. They the number one getters. You get all these celebrities that talk about like Fifty Cent, you know, all the rest of these other dudes that's out here. You're you not know, getting like Fifty Cent. Game, all, all You're these, not getting them. Well, because he got all these bodies. But I'm just saying. Yes, like, you do because they do it the right you way. You get all these other celebrities that, that that say a whole bunch of shit that don't got celebrities that be, be solo, and they be the main ones who try who get got. You hear really? about celebrities getting got all the time, especially where he's from in Philly. They was getting got out there a lot. So it's like you gotta really be careful. Like when you make your when you make a name on yourself and you push yourself, you cannot go, I'm gonna go with my family, I'm gonna go with my kids by myself. What by ourselves, we're gonna go here in the, in the, in the neighborhood. Shout out to the love coming through here. Zach, that's beautiful. Wow, look at that. I don't know. That she looked epic as she. Should I look away? That she look pretty. God damn. That she look fire. Wow. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to know. Shout out to Zach Clark. He said, "What up, Jody Sadler and Moon Knight?" Oops. I mean, E Man. <laughs> hope everyone's doing well and the people are watching. Jody, hope one day you can watch my favorite anime of all time, Code Geass. Oh, on Patreon. That's Code Geass. Okay. And Code Geass is fire. I, I never said that. I don't animation that. was I don't, I have to beautiful. watch that again. I don't remember that. That's fire. That's he said, lit. "Wait for that gem." And one more thing, Sadler, you are goat. Ah, so you go. Ah, thank you, Zach. Shout I, out to that. I, I might watch. I might have to watch. Cold I don't remember Geass, that. Man. I don't yeah, remember that. Don't that scene. keep flowing, if that's making us watch a little. So I'm not yeah, to watch. That. I don't remember that scene. That yeah. shit looked dope. Thank All right, you, Zach. Sad. You was just about to chime in. Thank you for that, bro. I, I, I'll take. Cold Geass might be on the list. Go ahead, Sad. Yeah, it's definitely on the list for me. Hey, man. Shout out to all y'all. Uh, Tara, Tara Hatcher is my special shout out for this week. Zach, you might be next week. Listen, so PNB Rock is from an area from Philly called G Town, Germantown. And uh, that's a grimy part of Philadelphia. It's nor- more north than north, uh, but not in the heart of the city. But it's definitely a hood area. Um, part of the problem when I was younger, when you get to neighborhoods, we always want to see the hood. Right? When you first start traveling, take me to Jamaica. All right, I want to see the hood in Jamaica. Take me to Bahamas. I want to see the hood. Like, because you're so used to the hood, you want to see what the hood is. But you know what the hood is. You came from the hood. You flew from the hood. So what I think is, you know, um, Dave Chappelle used to have that thing, that skit called, when keeping it real goes wrong. Like, Mm -hmm. part of our problem, part of the problems. Say it again. 
our problem. Part of our problems. Black folk. Black folks is that uh, rappers, <laughs> rappers get uh, put on because they're so grounded. When you're plugged into the community, when you got your pulse on the streets, when you're a part of the culture and what's going on in the streets, you write about it and other people hear it and they can relate to it. Right. But the more money you make, you ascend from the streets. The more, that's why you got somebody like Jay-Z talking about selling dumb bags and he ain't sold a dumb bag in 40 years. Nas, they're not, you can't, you can pull up to your old block, but you gotta get in and get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of Facts. these rappers move with police for a reason and this whole keep it real mentality, he don't look gangster at all. At lane. all. Not lane. right there, he don't. New lane. At that all. That might be part of West Oak Lane. He didn't come, I don't think he had anything to do with that type of lifestyle. But still, as a black man, you want to stay connected to your people. He got he got pictures posted from the day before in a suit and tie and bow tie, and they out eating foie gras, and him and his girl is in the most fanciest places winning awards, black elegance, and all that kind of stuff. So now, all right, babe, we're going to take it to the hood today. It does not sound like he got a hood girl. Sound like he got a girl from, like, VA a or dance. Atlanta or something. He got a something. dance, bro. You know what I mean? But these little, you know, they like them type of sheltered, pampered girls. You know, as a man, when you walk in a room, you you check all the exits. You 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 be aware of danger. Me and Jody talk about this plenty of times. The woman is in there looking at the restaurant. She looking at the menu. You are making sure this is a secure location. Looking at for the your peoples family. and everything, yeah. You're reading energy. That's I went out. I went out with my baby mama, man, um, not too long ago to a restaurant, mm -hmm. and she always manages to just sit in the wrong seat. Back to the door. This for you. particular time, I got upset with her. I had to tell her like, it's the last time you gonna sit in the seat. I always get the seat that sees the whole restaurant. Don't do that no more. Right. She's like, all right, all right, you know. But it's, it's weird how she always goes for that. So I got to see what's going on. We come out, the seat that I'm getting is the one that sees what's up. Yeah. I see exits. I say who I see who come in. That's what it is. But go ahead, go for it. Now, are you wearing? You know, I don't know if he was wearing all those diamonds when he was out. You know what I mean? You wanted to be a, a live show when you walk out the house. So that's his girlfriend right there, bro. She should know what's up. IG trap. Right a rap. So PNB Rock girlfriend posted their location just to show the media. Social media has rotted your brains and may have costed him his life. I hope he makes it an ends contact with her. Look at man, come on, bro. He did not make it. He took an elf to a, a female, got him killed, man. His girl got him killed. <laughs> and bro. he knew it. He knew it was scary out here, but yet and still, he had already. He's talking to academics. It's not like he didn't feel that energy. You know what I mean? That's why. Uh, what you call him? Now it's got a song to say, Dr. Dre called you, said, don't let the palm trees fool you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's so many murders in Philly, it's not even funny no more. People killing on sight, man. You know. Rest in peace to this dude, man. Yeah, rest in peace, man. It's messed up. You lost your life, bro. The Lane. My guess is I feel from, sorry for his My kid, guess though, is bro. that he's from East Oak Lane or West Oak Lane, but this part near Germantown. Near, near Germantown. But it's a damn shame, man. Um... You know, look at all that jewelry. So even if he don't got it on, I want some of that. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. We're gonna press him for whatever he got on, or we're gonna run his pockets or something. You can't. Big part of the big problem is you're a rapper now. You can't move like a regular person anymore. And we want to keep it real so bad. We still trying to be a part of the community, but you gotta find other ways. You can't just roll up. I mean, Nip, he died damn near in his. His own front yard on his own property. Yeah. Facts. And you can't be harder than Nipsey. Nipsey was the real deal. Facts. You know, it's it's, just I wouldn't press Nipsey. Nip, I, I would I would press him before I was Nipsey. And so if Nipsey could go, anybody could go, man. And the worst part. The and worst it went from a Finney, not to cut you off. It went from a Finney Shakur, bro. A Finney Shakur said, I told my son, and this was in the 90s, if you can be touched, you can be killed. I tell them all the time. Don't let that shit go out your mind. If you can be touched, you can be killed. She told her son that all the time. Mm. Right, you you big now, son, but remember, if you could be and bro, I met him twice. Tupac was a motherfucker. You could just walk up to yeah, bodyguards. 
But he'll you, hug you. He'll push them yeah, aside and give yep. you a hug. Don't even know yeah, you. Yeah, that type of shit. So, like I said in my video, if you guys want to research, not just two weeks ago or a week ago, I said, don't come to L.A. It, this city just feels like it's dying. And I mean dying, I'm not talking about as, as the economy. This shit booming, money everywhere. Except the black people, we ain't got it. Everybody got the money except us in the in the hood, bro. Hey, it's bad out here, bro. Hey, people, up. common sense, gesture, politeness, consciences. Shoot, somebody needs a freaking Jiminy Cricket. And not that one from that live action, Pin Pinocchio. That shit was trash. I haven't seen it. You but, and we need a conscious. We need little Jiminy Crickets on everybody's shoulder to remind us what's right and wrong. Because I don't know what the freak is going on up in yeah, here. They're trying to raise that shit up to kick black people. Yeah, bro. And shit. I'm going to table that conversation here. And I'm going to let Salad Ward get the last word. Uh, a message, man. You, you've done. You from Philly. You've done tours all over the country. You've rapped. You know rappers. You know the game. Anything you want to say before we outro. The only thing I would worry about when I was get when I was starting to rise up is like, yo, everybody grew up with me, you know, where my mom lived. I wonder can I get my mom. Fresh Prince mom stayed in his same house for a long time. I don't know how he got away with it, but nobody bothered his mom house. Maybe he was just private enough. But I'm telling y'all, when you become rappers, your privacy is gone, man. You can't go to the regular dentist. You can't go to the regular nail salon. You you have to leave behind everything you fell in love with everything you loved about the hood and you put career in front man you can't can't be a regular person and be a rapper you can't have both anymore all that money comes with people wanting to get what you got man and now he's got nothing it was so hard to get to where he was i got texts right now from school children uh yeah, he came to my elementary school to talk to us. He came and performed at my high school to help raise money for the kids. Like, this was a dude who did a lot of fundraising around Philadelphia to help out the youth. And we lost another one. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Rest in peace to this brother, man. I hope that um, his family could find solace in knowing that uh, this just might not be the end. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Jody's Corner, we out. Deuces. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Thump that video. Free 99 all day. Don't forget to share and show love to the JC family. Let us know what you think about it. You like it, you don't like it. Let us know what you think. Keep it a butt and do it now.